Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. Great to see you here. Today we are going to be watching a little Jubilee, aka which influencer makes the most money. Now I am an influencer. I do not like that term um, because I don't even know what I influence at this point, but I do have some expertise in this, but I do not make a lot of money. So we'll see how this goes. As always, please subscribe if you're new or haven't subscribed yet. 60% uh, of you are not subscribed to watch the channel. So if you could do that, it'd make me very happy. Like the video at some point if you're enjoying it. You don't have to, but if you're enjoying it and if you want to comment something that crosses your mind during the video, please do that as well. Okay, that is it. I appreciate it. Also, this merch is coming out very soon. If anybody is watching this that likes it, it is hand embroidered. There are no strings. It's a heavy hoodie. Your support would mean a lot on that when that comes out. But we'll talk about that another time. Here we go. Which influencer makes the most money? We're going to commentate, make some jokes, have some fun, and find out which one of these people is rich. The group will start off by assessing appearances. They aren't allowed to mention their yearly earnings until the final reveal. Ooh, okay, this is exciting. I love to guess, as you guys know. So, what's with the whistling, though? I'm a little scary. You give, me, you give me like so, bougie looks. I like okay, you here we go. We got the lineup of seven yeah. people. I think I know the girl on the left. I'm pretty sure this girl's name is Raya. And if not, then that's then I'm that's so stupid. But I'm pretty sure I've met, I've hung out with this girl years ago. Well, fine. I mean, I could be wrong. I'm gonna shoot down like three spots. I disagree. I personally believe you probably make a billion dollars. I agree. I was gonna say the same thing. He gives me ga maybe gamer. Yeah, let's. I'm let's give that guy's giving me middle. Danny vibes here. He's What's with the intro here? here? What are they cliffhanger? I like the vibe that you have. You make. Oh. What's your name over there? Grace. So was an insta All right, well, whatever. Oh, it is Raya. Put him in the middle. Yeah, I was gonna say the same thing. He gives me ga maybe gamer. I was right. Yeah, I do know that girl. I'm. I'm put him in the middle. He's still years and years and years ago. I feel like your shoes, Raya, are kind of expensive. I can't tell if it's like a knockoff, like but quality Martins. platforms are usually like Plus the all black, two, 200 the all black. to 300 dollars. You give me like, um, you have like a million followers on Instagram and you do like model shoots every single day, like fashion shoots. So I want to put her in the middle. What's your name over there? Grace. I don't know. You give me like the vibe that you have. You make a lot of money like selling cookies if you're nice. <laughs> or, like selling cookies. I don't think you could make a lot of money selling cookies in this day. I mean, maybe. I mean, the the price of eggs is seven dollars an egg, so maybe a cookie you can make a good profit. Sweaters on Etsy or like something. Sweeters. No, I guess they're yeah, doing pre rankings sweet. here. Okay, and I have see. Have a fun TikTok. TikTok. So I think you are like over here. Okay, so cookie girl. Like, yeah. Cookie girl coming up. I kind of like it. I'm cool with this too. All right. This is going to be, this is not going to be right. This is going to be wrong. Although I do think Raya makes a lot of money. I guess Raya makes, Raya, Raya, I think she's, I'm, I'm going to guess she makes 250000 a year. Makes sense. Mm, I'm going to disagree. I think Raya should be one more ahead. Okay. I would put Josh like further right in front up. of me, like, maybe. Yeah, maybe between you two. Yeah, I agree. I would be good right here. Josh, no, no, Josh, come no, on, Josh. Come Josh, on. where's your sweater from? HM. H&M, okay. Um, H&M, a man of true fashion. No need, even if you have money, no need to spend thousands of dollars on clothing when H&M, Target, Mosimo, come on, it's quality. It sounds like a classic though. Like I know a lot of guys who wear like only H&M, but they make good money. Well, it's because like a lot okay, of guys well, I wear are almost only H&M or my own like merch, a... but then I, but I also don't make a lot of money. Thousand dollar shoes. Yeah. Yeah. True. So I don't hate this lineup. Yeah. yeah. I, yeah, I kind of think it's, you think this is the lineup? Okay. All righty, here we go. Make tick. Okay, this guy, I'm going to say he makes, he said TikToks. He makes TikToks about, I'm going to say tech or video game stuff. TikTok videos about like tech reviews. And Bro, oh, oh, come on. It's too easy. I spell a techie when I, okay, he does pretty well. Those tech guys have a lot of money. There's a lot of brand deals in beauty and tech. You know what there's not a lot of brand deals in? Comedy, so. Tech stuff. Oh, that's money. I run a couple businesses from it. Uh-oh. Tech businesses, like laptops, Couple computers. businesses. Like type on keyboards, I make like custom ones. Um, oh, he's And rich. I also now I'm getting into like clothes, so. Whenever, whenever you just, you know, just a straight up hoodie, that's probably a $400 hoodie. That's probably a Kanye hoodie. I design this hoodie. I feel like you're great with money, so mm -hmm. even if you maybe technically didn't like bring in as much as some other of us a couple years ago, you maybe have grown it more because you're probably very smart. I'm sure you're investing. I feel like you absolutely- Oh, he's smug. He's smug. Look at him. This man's sitting on a mill minimum. He's smug. How many TikTok accounts do you have? Three. 
that have done well. You should second. take my Three that have done I well. Scary over second, here. Yeah, okay. I would. I would put you like second. Let's do second. Tech is a lot of money. Plus, yeah. you have all those other income streams on top of it. Yeah. Yeah. I agree. Those so shoes I look expensive. He's got the Yeezys on. Content creators, but I'm also a Twitch streamer. Do you sell cork? Uh, okay, Twitch streamer. I was just about to ask. Ah, I don't sell a course because I believe in like making education free for people. So okay, I don't noble. Like so she maybe isn't as rich if she's not making people pay. Very noble of her though. How do you make your income um, without the ads? So I get two dollars and fifty cents for every sub that I get. That's like one way uh -huh. that I make my money. Oh, duh, for Twitch. Duh. TikTok sponsorships yeah. mainly, and I also okay. have, like, Instagram and YouTube. And stuff. She's not very rich. I will say that, right? I don't think I'm, I'm going to say she's not super rich. I've never seen her on Twitch. There's a lot of people on Twitch, though. But I don't think she, I don't know. Like we'll see. Like really small. I mean, those are two pretty lucrative platforms. But also, you have a lot of morals, which makes me think which is you tough, though. It's, hard. it's tough to make <laughs> money on Twitch. You haven't told your yeah. yeah, I mean, that, with the LA rent rising, though. <laughs> I still yeah. don't think you should be last, though. Like, no, she's I don't not last. Think she should move until we hear a couple more. Yeah, yeah. I would keep myself down I here. Like, <laughs> I could see Haley being last because she's the one that's the like talking the most, and that me and look, I'm pretty broke and I talk a lot so I think that Haley might be trying to be the leader here but in reality she probably has the least amount of money but we'll see if I'm wrong here so far though I got the tech guy perfectly I forget his name is it Darren who knows we're just gonna go with Darren here. <laughs> uh, so I do a few different things uh, um, my big one is I if she says only fans she's rich I'm a sex educator so I okay. host a podcast we just launched the third season so I've been doing that since 2019. Third season. Uh, and I do sex education content on my Instagram as well as on my TikTok. And then I also upload all the podcast episodes to my YouTube channel. Ooh. Oh, she's a businesswoman. She's making coin for sure. Oh, YouTube, and she's been doing it for three years. years. The, way she, the way she presented that, like if you say like, hey, Ryan, what do you do? I'm like, oh, I, don't know, I stream sometimes, you know, watch some stuff, play The Sims, you know, some YouTube writing, directing. You know, it's like I just read. She had it down to a science of exactly what she was doing. My one caveat is sex education, which in terms of making money through sponsorships, not many companies would want to unfortunately work with us. Hey, Adam and Eve, I see them all and the time. And it's harder to get ad revenue because yeah. um, I'm constantly, you know, working Shadow through things. bands mm -hmm. and things like that. Okay. How are you making most of your money? Though? Through all of those, as well as OnlyFans. Ah, oh, I knew it. She's good, chat. She's making money. You're good at OnlyFans, you're good at making money. I need to I need to make an OnlyFans one day. I really need to do it. I think I want to do it, but do it in a comedic way, if that makes sense. Maybe show you show a little cheek, but like with a with a fake cherry tattoo on it or something. I don't know. I've pondered it lately, and that's just because I went to get tacos the other day at the, the street vendor. And when I first moved to Encino, that's where I live. We live in Encino. It was about two dollars a taco, nothing too crazy. I'd get four tacos for eight bucks. I could pay with a ten dollar bill with the tax, get some change back. Now, three seventy five a taco. Okay, we're talking almost sixteen dollars for four plus when it comes to the tax. So something's got to give here soon. Either the economy has to collapse again and everything's cheap, or I got to make an OnlyFans and so show a little cheek. You know? Come on, man. OnlyFans makes money. Yeah, you can. Mm. I'm gonna OnlyFans put her fourth or third, in my opinion. She should not be at the last. Third, top three for yeah. sure. Okay. Agreed. All right, so uh, I, I talk to these people like I like I know them. Uh, Josh, I'm gonna say Josh makes content on music, maybe movies. Um, yeah. I think, like content just around like money, and I try and teach Gen Z uh, good like money habits with short uh, and videos. Okay. Finance makes so much money because not only oh, do they rich. push it, but you also get so many I wish I was smart. From YouTube. Are you on YouTube or are you on primarily TikTok? It, it goes like in this order, TikTok, Instagram, YouTube stuff. Mm, okay, I feel like TikTok people make the least amount of money because their partnership program is the worst. You make like, like I have a video that has 44 million views and in that, I think, I didn't. I don't uh, have any revenue on TikTok. I don't join their partner program or whatever. But like, I believe I would have made like forty five dollars off of forty five million views. Like, it's that. It's like almost to the point of laughable. I feel like those videos, also especially in the way you do them with comedy, are super shareable. Like, those are the kind of TikToks that end up on Reels. They end up on Facebook. I would put you up for definitely you finance. Up. Finance is such a lucrative niche. I'm, I'm okay with that. <laughs> okay, he's happy. I'm gonna say he's in the. I think he's gonna be four or five yeah. at the end. Okay, I am a TikToker. I knew it. <laughs> I knew I could tell. If she bakes uh, cookies, like mostly fashion stuff, like secondhand fashion, vintage stuff, and okay. lifestyle. What do you? Okay, I'm gonna say Gracie is like six or seven. 
not that fashion is a bad niche. It's a good niche. But the way she described it, she wasn't too proud. Like Raya was very proud. So I feel like, you know, like how I described it, I'm like, yeah, I just do Twitch, you know? Like if I was a number one streamer, I'd be like, bro, I'm, I do Twitch, you know? Uh, I don't really anymore. I started like my TikTok promoting my online vintage shop and that's how I became a TikToker. And now okay. I just like, do fashion stuff. Do you do it full time? Yeah. So your stuff. revenue comes from sponsorships? Yeah, it's like all social media. Okay, I'm going to say she's six. It's like no money that's unless true. you're a thin white woman. Five, six, or seven. So. <laughs> <laughs> no, she is a thin white woman. she's a thin white woman. Josh, Josh does not want to even look at, he does not even want to, <laughs> my boy's like, I don't want no, <laughs> I want no part in that joke. So being plus size in the social media industry is definitely been hard. There's visibly fat plus size people. And then there's people with the quintessential perfect. All right, Haley, how much money like, you make? Almost, unfortunately, how plus size are you? If you do lifestyle, but you're a small creator, you get nothing. Like they yeah, literally yeah. only gifting campaigns. And then like, even then they gaslight you into feeling like you should be grateful for it. Yeah, absolutely. But given, I'm guessing you sound like you're a very large creator. And then like, I feel like I've seen your videos on my pre page. Oh. I would maybe put you first. Oh, Whoa. So I'm also, this is like my first year doing this. Yeah, I'd say, I'd say. I'm putting her six. Right I think here. first I is think wrong. I make more than you. We, we still have time to switch. So. That's true. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, so I um, am a plus size supermodel. So everything I do is pretty much lifestyle around that. And it's been my full time job for about four years now. Okay, I have plus my own size supermodel. And sexual wellness podcast. Okay. So I do that separately. I also have my own consultation and coaching business where I teach aspiring plus size models. So I have an online course that's a master class. Oh, man, people are so smart, quarterly. man. And then I also have a blog separately. Jesus! post on one to at least once a week and okay Haley we get it god damn you do everything Jesus my goodness she's superhuman and the ad marketing is just starting on my blog so it's not too far in there but I'm very familiar with ad marketing why are they showing revenue. him so much man? I will put you first Absolutely. like just, <laughs> yeah you have I think she wants to be first you know by the way she gave her answer like but I still don't think she's first I'm still gonna put her like third or fourth but I feel like she's an entrepreneur and she's selling herself well Absolutely. So many streams of income. So many streams of income. But man, oh man, I, she has said a lot. And what about you, Kazumi? I do OnlyFans. I also Rich. So do YouTube. I also do Instagram. Um, my main Whatever necklace she's got on looks like it's worth about forty thousand dollars. Stream of income though is TikTok. Not specifically from ad revenue, but I make like seven to ten TikToks and I just like pump out as many reels of me as I a can. Day? Yes. God. Oh, oh my god. god. I agree with I agree. That is a seven to ten TikToks a day. My God, how do you think of that much stuff? I post like one TikTok every two to three weeks. And it's usually me reacting to some sort of like I put one was a car grease, but it looked really edible and I wanted to eat it. And I had to, I had to tell everybody about it. I mean, I don't, man, oh, man. Different crazy. with different captions. And I just lead it back to my OnlyFans. But I do Smart. I make a lot of memes. That's like my. I feel like Kazumi is low key making good money. I might put her. <laughs> yeah, I do. <laughs> Bro, what? Bruh. She's got a billboard. I know how much billboards are, okay, from Reality House. They are thousands of dollars to be up. So either Kazumi spent all of her money on this billboard that says, Kazumi, please notice me. P.S. Your OnlyFans is the best. That is, I'll tell you, you definitely got to love yourself. And you definitely got to, you know, to post that. I would never say that about myself. But you know what? Good. I respect the hustle, okay? I'm going to say she's probably number two. I do have a billboard in WeHo. <laughs> I saw that. Okay. Yeah. Do you take sponsorships? She no, literally I'm has a, sex a worker, billboard. So they don't, sponsors don't want me or my face to represent their brand. The only reason I get away with That's that lame. is because I also am a sex educator. Who cares so, in my opinion? It, you I know, it's your body. Understand. The second oh, they hear everybody does it. Sort of like only fans Not everybody, but you know, but I mean, it's like, it's, it's, uh, Everyone has a body. Yeah, and I've gotten deleted like seven times. Yes. Where do you rank? Like, what's your percentage on OnlyFans? I'm 0 0.01. Oh my God. Look, dude, put her number one, bro. Look at Gracie. Gracie looks like she's seen a ghost. I'm now saying Gracie is six or seven. I'm putting, was it Suzuki? Kazumi? I'm putting her up number one. Percent. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Go ahead, go ahead. You're worth 2.5 million. That's my guess. 
or the or one of these is going to be quietly rich like this dude might be worth five million we'll see Number one. <laughs> my <laughs> god point zero zero one i'm not good at math but that's a lot the influencers will now compare their content how many guys have you been with um I oh guess she's been on no jumper parties and i would get for like 50 dudes a night okay so you're on no well, what? Well, that was a crazy clip. Hey what you say? You been with? Um, I used to do parties, and I would get for like fifty dudes a night. Wow. Well, I'll tell you what. She's probably like, great. Of all clips, you had to choose that one in front of these people. Look at Josh. Now Josh is smiling. Look at Josh now. And jo okay, we caught him, ladies and gentlemen. We got him. Look at Josh right there. Beeline for the boobies. Look at that. Boom. Bam, right on the boobies. Exposed. Okay, so you're on No Jumper. Yeah. That's the kind of video that goes viral. I mean, there's... Yeah. No She's rich. About. That video has millions of views. So my photo is a photo of me in Vogue. Um, oh, didn't Drake say, don't you tell me that you model if you ain't been in Vogue? Well, guess what? She can say that she models. Oh, I'm... It's a beautiful photo. Vogue... Vogue is solid, but I do still think she's trying hard to like make herself the best one, if that makes sense. But still, Vogue is a flex. It's in Vogue. Does Vogue pay a lot? It's almost kind of like like being a Playboy centerfold in a sense of like it's an honor. No, that means okay. no. Look, I love that answer because I get it, but that means no. <laughs> when you say it's an honor, like one time I did a brand deal with Starbucks and people were like, wow, dude, what do you make, like 20 grand? I was like, no, I made $1,000, which is fine, obviously, but... It was cool to work with Starbucks. It's kind of like that, I feel like, for her. I'm still saying Haley's deeper in the back. Okay. Congrats on your new baby. Insert cash or select payment You're type. Funny. Okay. Use to complete transaction. Okay. I'm sorry, what? The average cost of childbirth and pregnancy. <laughs> I'm going to say this man's not super rich because I see a lot, a lot of people like this on TikTok. Or $13,000 without, and it can vary wildly. I changed my mind. What's your return policy like? I know he feels <laughs> awkward right now. I this think, uh, dad. And oh, wow. They just skipped real quick. Okay. My boy, Josh might be five. Let's see here. His his thing is Kanye tech. Wait a second. Kanye tech. I said he had a Kanye hoodie on. This is his at home work setup. He hates it. So today I'm going to try to fix it. Okay. I'm, gonna I'm seeing some nice shoes in the background. They don't look cheap. Custom keyboard I built for him and a mouse. And then we're going to go ahead and give him the Fopo triple monitor so laptop adapter. This is going to turn a single laptop screen into a triple monitor. That's guys. Okay, this, guy is, okay, this is kind of hard. I feel like if the Camboys did that, me and my friends, that would, that would be kind of fun. Although it'd be like 13 of us on one side being kind of broke. And then it'd be like Keen and JC and David and some of those guys on the far right. Gracie, Gracie Brinkley. Okay, it's a decent closet. Pretty big closet there. I'm still thinking a little bit more on the left, though. More on the bro broker side. That's pretty much what I do. Oh my God, that's so cute. But she's good. Our noses smushed up against our kissing partner's face is actually opening up our nostrils and making their pheromones more obvious. I'm hearing an echo in this place. That means it's a big place. Okay, she's got some pretty high ceilings there. And whether you realize it or not, your body will actually react to that person's pheromones and can make you more attracted to them if your body thinks they're a good biological match. And she's smart. I don't know what any of that means. What That's websites with Twitch streamers. Twitch Tracker is a website that tracks your stream data. Mm -hmm. It'll show you the max you know, viewers all about Twitch games Tracker. I thought Twitch hours. Tracker was like Twitch 101 if you had a Twitch account. But there you go. Good for you, Caitlin. Oh, wait. Hold on. We can see her. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Can I get any information out of this? Okay. Her viewership is, you know, solid. Like, it's not easy to get hundreds of viewers on Twitch. Um, it's about what I get. I don't make tens of thousands of dollars on Twitch. I usually make about anywhere from... 1500 to three grand max on twitch a month just to be fully transparent which is still so nice because it's so fun to me but I, that certainly wouldn't make me rich so we'll see maybe she has some uh some simps or something as you stream per stream they also have a very nice graph showing your average viewer yeah, count none of them the care look they're all like yeah, and cool care. stats like average viewer count per day okay yeah i'm gonna go that she's on the bottom end maybe she's six or seven yeah, so I'm that's like similar to the type of Things content I, I do. Know. Oh. I feel like I should go down in the tech men. I feel the like tech men should I want go to up. put, I think your name is Teddy, right? Yes. You second, because I saw that, I saw that ad. Tech pays well. That I agree with Teddy really moving well up. Edited. I'm pretty sure companies will see that. And Raya's got to move up. I might move, I might move Raya. I might go Raya third. I might move Haley fifth. I might put Gracie sixth. Uh, I might put Josh seven. 
and maybe Cat, who is on the left there, maybe like fourth. That's what I I'm thinking second, right now. Yeah. Gee. Okay, let's see. I'm very, 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 oh, very invested. I'm not gonna lie. I'm very invested here. Oh, okay, good. This is this. I'll. Okay. Now the thing is with with this TikTok, the the followers are inflated. I think a, a house plant could get twenty thousand followers if you tried. Like if you gave me a house plant, and I put googly eyes on the pot. And I, you gave me one month to get it 20,000. I do believe, and I think you guys believe me, I do believe I could get it 20,000 from zero without me promoting it. I really do. So TikTok, and I say that because I have, I'll, I'll show you, right? For some of you that may be new or like, eh, whatever. I have a video. I, I, I recorded my friend's sink, okay? Um, I recorded my friend's sink, and I did a little commentary. Yeah, it's not going to be able to look. Yeah. What if I make it full screen? Let's see. You can kind of see it. It has 45.4 million. Okay, then 8 million, 5 million. I've gotten a decent amount of views on TikTok. I've made $0. Now, I'm also bad with money. I'm not very money hungry at all. But what I'm trying to say here is TikTok followers do not equivalent. Equivalent? A TikTok followers don't equal money. All right. Kazumi has 499k on Instagram. That's a lot for Instagram. 21k paid on OnlyFans. Bruh. 21,000 people a month are paying. Oh, put dude. She's she's worth millions. If she's just making five to ten dollars every single oh my god. Crazy. Teddy has 69,000 on Insta. Uh oh, okay. It's not bad, obviously. 690 on TikTok is great, but still it's TikTok. Josh 120 Insta 306. Oh, this is kind of hard. Haley 70k Insta 700k Facebook. Okay, Facebook pays pretty well I hear. Gracie 68k Instagram 528 TikTok. These are all really similar shit. Raya 50k 715k on YouTube is a lot. 715k means that she's made good money. And Cat 42,000 followers on Twitch. Okay, 449,000. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, let's just do it again. I would say Kazumi number one. Oh my God. Give me Teddy number two, Raya number three. Haley, Josh, Cat. That's what I'm going with this. Kazumi is just printing money. She's like the mint. She's like she's like the government. Like the follower count matters. No. Oh hell. Because the know. follower Actually, count is not. one thing almost means say, nothing like, sometimes. Quality de depending what industry you're in, because I have a friend who has quadruple the following I do and ten times the engagement, and I make three times as much as she does because of Damn. the quality and I sell usage rights so people can use. Damn, it as talk ads. your talk your shit, yeah, man. She just put her that friend watching was probably just like, okay, Haley, goddamn, you know, throw me under the bus, dude. Yeah, I think, that's I think a lot. 700k Facebook, by the way, is a lot. Like Facebook, if you have a 700,000 people on Facebook, that means you got a lot of grandmoms probably on there and like ants. And I feel like ants and grandmoms just spend money on things. Like, oh, I'll buy this, of course. What a nice young lady. Because let's be real, the fa the fan, the fans on Facebook are older by like 60 years, so geriatric. Yeah. How many hours do you guys work? I work every day. A lot. Yeah. Like this week, I work. But everyone's like gonna say they work every day in days. the influencer world. Influencers want so desperately to feel accepted in the in the workspace. Like that's been a thing forever. So everybody's like, I hustle, I grind, twenty five hours a day. Like for me, like I can get my work done in two to three hours if I really grind and get it done. Like you, you know. So at minimum, there's no day where I'm working less. Like almost every single day where I'm working less than five hours. That's cat. At and least. Gracie knows it. I'm not trying to diminish what they were saying. Like it is hard work, and like get him, Grace. When she was talking about like, oh, like work doesn't end, but like it's like it does. You can go get a movie, and like that's the point. The point. Is, yes, I agree. A lot of those. A lot of people do that. The big like, man. Yeah, I work. I work. You know, I wake up at six, and I'm working. Uh, I'm influencing all day until 9:30 p.m. It's like no, you can pick and choose what you want to do. Okay, you're spending an hour and a half editing Instagram photos half the time if you're a model, right? That's what you have to do. Or if you're, you know, like, I agree with Grace here. Like, sit in your bed and scroll emails. It's not the same as, like, being expected to be somewhere and, like, be a slave all day. Because I, I worked like, a bunch a of jobs, here. like, I just from the perspective of I've worked 
you know, retail. I worked at Best Buy for three years. I worked at steakhouses. I was a, a server, a waiter, a landscaper. Like, you know, I used to work those hard, long hours. And therefore, now that I don't have to, I don't tell people that I'm busy 24 seven or that I'm like, oh man, I'm grinding. I'm, I work hard. I do. And I'm, I do everything on my own. I'm self-sufficient, but you don't have to say you work 12 hours a day if you don't, because to me that just diminishes the people that are really out there working really hard, nine to fives, own business, blah, blah, blah. Work, but like you're a person when you're doing this job. It's hard to, when you do a job like this, because at first I was like, oh, I don't actually, you know, work that many hours, but then you, it's like the second I wake up, I'm checking and I'm deciding what I'm going to yeah, do that day. It's, and it's, a, it's a hours. little bit of a gray exactly. area of yeah. like what work yeah. is, you know? Yeah, so it's not. hard when you're not doing it. Like I'm maybe not working four hours straight. Agreed. I'll stop and I'm, I have the privilege. Raya is really smart. With friends or shop in the middle of the day or like do whatever I do, but that doesn't mean I'm not constantly, you know, mm -hmm. could take, could take, could take. And then like so weekends don't exist. Right, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. They do for me. I'll tell you what, every Sunday I'm watching football. I'm watching the Eagles this Sunday, baby. I'm getting old. I give myself weekends off just to survive. How was your come up? Because I started with gaming content and then I transitioned into education. I did too. Like when, oh my God, love gaming. But um, like, especially as like a Danny, we could have some ladies for you here if you're watching. Content. I got memed on so much. Everyone's like, oh my God, you're such an e-girl. Like, yeah, a, like AVG e-girl e -girl aesthetic. Haha, -ha, you suck at the game we anyways. Love and now it's in. Dude, and now I, it's like I know, aesthetic. and now it's cool, right? What Dang. year were you doing that? I was doing it in like 2018, 2019. Okay. I was doing it in 2011. Oh. To be a fee. I'm 2008 over here, baby. Let's go. First YouTube video posted 2008. We are now... 15 years into this thing. That's very scary. 2011, though, you're definitely a vet. I mean, she, that she's 10, 12, year, uh, 12 years in it. YouTuber in a male-dominated space in 2011 was traumatizing. Brutal. I have a question for you, Josh. Do yeah. you feel like you have to work harder or um, fight for what you're worth as a black man? I don't know if I necessarily have to fight harder, but it is a little bit harder to stand out and like, get people to take you seriously. It's actually one of the reasons that uh, I've signed with like a management agency that only represents black creators. Oh, okay. I love that. Yeah, so it just feels like a, you know, like a small family. Absolutely. And, you know, I know that they're like out there fighting. For okay, you might be getting some yeah. good brand deals. Yeah. They've been so helpful because I've run into other black creators that have like my similar following and a similar niche. I mean, they're earning way less and there's so much more money out there that they're just not getting, mostly because they don't know exactly what they're worth. I don't know. This looks like it makes sense. I feel like it doesn't. Uh -oh. I feel like I need to go yeah, I down wanna, one I wanna or two. I want to move down. I feel like with the YouTube... Oh, this is so hard. Much. Okay, yeah, once again, uh... Raya, she's got to go over. She's making way more money. We can bring the guys over a little bit if we need to. This is really hard. I'm not going to lie. This, I think we should, maybe. We should switch. This is tough. Everybody wants to be moved. Man, Josh, you have a manager. I don't. I think you're okay, getting... but okay. I want to I say this, though. The manager have, takes a cut. I have a modeling agency, and 80% of the work that I get, I get myself. That's fair. It's more about him getting one. I don't... Haley's very really confident. Because I don't think I'm getting as many maybe as he is. Okay. Interesting. That's just my take. You have what's, multiple businesses. What's your second biggest channel? Once again, Raya. It's for my business, and it has 75000 now I have employees and I don't really do anything. Oh, so you have employees. Oh, hold on there, Ja. Whoa. I think I should be here. I think What's his name, Teddy? Teddy Bear, dude. Uh, employees? I am my own employee. I am my own editor. I'm my own thumbnail maker. I'm my own marketer. I'm my own everything. Okay. He, my boy's moving. Move with Haley. He needs to be second. Oh, He's employee. Then, then put Raya third. In between, in between us. I, I, that makes sense or to me. Or like lower. How do we feel about this? This, yeah, this looks like our final answer. I think okay. we're good with this. Okay, I disagree with this. Once again, I'm sorry. I've been, re you know, I've been rearranging a lot here, but I'm having fun with this. Yeah, I would put, I would put, uh, Raya second. I'd keep. Was it Kazuki? Kazoo? I forget. But I put her first still. I'm cool with Josh being third instead of second. Haley could be fourth. Fit, dude. Okay, let's just let's just let's just see. Seven spot. Okay, the last. I think Gracie is last. If I had a guess, or the girl Gracie or Cat, I think is last. He's last at 115k. See you, Bambi. Oh, 
Oh boy, I would be I'd be off the charts. They wouldn't I would be off the Richter scale. I'd be like one of those earthquakes that barely blips and it's like if I'm an earthquake, they'd be like, You're doing okay. You were a one point two on the Richter scale. That means a couple bugs could feel it. They'd be like, oh man. Okay, well damn, six figures in your last Jesus. What? What? That was a shocker. No way. Six spot, Haley, Okay. Dude, this is a lot of money, guys. Holy hell. Six figure club. <laughs> Cat. Cool. I think Gracie is surprising me. I'm not going to lie. Where is she getting that money? Fourth spot. Grace. Got it. Okay. Okay, this is kind this is kind of kind of going as planned. I think I would move Raya over one more. I think that Josh is going to be third. And the third spot, Josh. Yes. God damn. Okay, Josh. I knew you were up here. Raya, I'm going 500,000, chat. And Kazuki, I'm going 2 million. Second spot, Raya. Raya. 300K, okay. First spot, Kazumi. Kazumi. Whoa! <laughs> oh, man. Oh, my God. God damn. She makes more than all of them combined. Wow. I said two main three million. Damn. <laughs> I can tell y'all I make less than sixty thousand. Which in LA is kind of tough. <laughs> wow. Okay. I knew the OnlyFans would come through. Chat. If you guys are watching this, I gotta get OnlyFans and show a little butt or or, or maybe a little ball. What do I gotta show? A foot? Come on. We gotta get me up here. What do I gotta do? I'll show a little foot. I'm on a, I'm, I'm a high rated person on, um, damn, what's it called? There's like a foot fetish website and people always tag me in and say like, Ryan, you're a top person on, uh, I forget what it's called, but it's like celeb feet or something. I don't know. And I'm on there. I have some buzz. So you know what? <laughs> After seeing this, I might have to do it. Wow. Okay. So they were. They were decently accurate, especially for Kazumi. Um, but all of them make a lot of money. It's, it makes me feel good for them, but bad for me. Wow. People uh, hate when you make a lot of money in a non-traditional way, and they really hate when you make it off sex work. Yeah, so yeah there's a lot of haters out there for that. I agree. The Shouldn't be though, because uh, job is a job. Represent what all sex workers make. I make a lot of money, but it is still something that you should deeply consider before getting into because it is She's something that has holds a lot of social stigma and does make life hard if you don't like doing it. Then uh, I just want to say that y'all have motivated me because I feel like <laughs> I became like comfortable with what I was doing and like I have. Oh, you're still making good recently. money, Teddy. Don't you but worry, my friend. Y'all are doing so well, Teddy Grams. Well, that's crazy. Really you well. woke up and made a whole website by yourself. Huh? Oh, that nice. took me like three great. months on my great. blog to do. Yeah, when I was 19, I was homeless. So I. Good for really you then. Is that's good for her. Turn that around. And the fact that you can it's good cast. They did a good job here. Yeah, I, I like so all these people. Cool of your life. I think there's an idea of what an influencer is in people's heads. And I yeah, you know what people think an influencer is? When you think of the word influencer, and correct me if I'm wrong, you can comment if you. People think of Logan Paul and Jake Paul. That's what I think people think of, which sucks. You know, they think of the, what's up, guys? And Mr. B's like, make sure to like the video. Boom, let's go to the, let's get 100,000 likes. Can we smash the, and the, I'm giving away 50. That, that's what people think of now. And it's like, it evolved. It used to be cat videos. Then it was Fred. Then it was Ray William Johnson, Smosh, Shane Dawson. And it's just evolved, evolved. And now it's like, you think influencer. I believe people think of Logan Paul and Jake Paul, which in my opinion sucks because they suck. I think it's usually like a airheaded person who yep, exactly. takes selfies or uses a selfie stick. They don't understand, I think, maybe the nuance. Like, I was kind of weird. Coming that was a great time. episode. I grew up really poor. And like, Shout out to Jubilee. I was really invested in that. I like. I would be happy making the amount of money I make right now for the rest of my life. And I feel like everyone gets into it. Yeah, well, yeah, no shit. You're making $185,000. God damn, I've never made that once. And I've never in my life made six figures a year. I will one day. I will. I will. It'll happen. Um... It'll happen, but I've never have. No, just I, have I like to be really transparent, right. y'all. I'm, like, you know, I'm not, I'm not lying about this stuff. I'm, I'm not rich in any way. Um, all right, that was good. That was fun. Uh, if you guys played along at home, I hope you enjoyed that. Um, 
Once again, if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet and you're still watching this, that means you should subscribe, please, if you don't mind. Like the video if you're still here. Comment if you haven't said anything. It really helps the algorithm. Uh, we're getting on, uh, towards 4,000 subscribers on here. So if you want to help spread the word for me, um, that would be great. Once again, this merch is going to come out soon. So hopefully you guys can stay tuned and help support me on that. So then maybe I can make this, uh, this list one day. You know? Uh, I would have to sell a lot of merch. No. Come on. No, no booze. Come on. It's all good. Don't worry about it. All right, guys. I love you. Thank you so much for watching. And I will see you guys right here soon on Ryan's Average Vods. Peace. I didn't hit end. Peace.